Hello everybody, it's Wendy and today we are going to make a beaded chain necklace with a little interesting focal technique um, using Jesse James beads and um, some findings, um, a few little things here. But first of all, our encouraging word for today is a smile is the prettiest thing you can wear. So that is very true. All right, so what you're going to need if you want to make this necklace is you're going to need some wire. So I have got just um, some 22 gauge brass wire here. This is 22 gauge, it's just a brass color um, wire. You're going to need some bead soup. Now this is all Jesse James beads and what I've done is I've gone into all of my little mixes um, that I had pieces left over, beads left over, and I've pulled out just the colors that I wanted to use for this project. So I think these colors are so pretty together. They're kind of the boho. Um, yeah, so you're gonna need a bunch, okay? I mean a bunch, way more than this. Um, like, it depends on how long you wanna make your necklace. I'm wanting to make this a wrap style that you could wear either as a necklace or a bracelet. So I'm, I'm gonna show you that, but you're gonna need a bunch of different beads. So pull out your beads. Um, this is a little connection, a link that um, came in my Jesse James beads. Um, I can't remember which mix this is out of. There's so many different mixes. Let me see if I can check real quick. Yeah, that came out of the Color Trends bead mix in Wonderlust. And I'm not sure if they still have them. I'll link it in the description box below. If not, just, you know, any link will do. I'm using this bronze color because um, that's what I've got. You know, all my little metal beads are the bronze, so I'm using that. You're going to need one eye pin. You're going to need two lobsters. Now, these are larger than the regular um, lobster clasps. They're larger than just the regular little 12 millimeter. These... Let me see here. Let me see how big these are. I don't have a caliber. Um, these are about 25 millimeters. Okay, so you're going to need, it'll need to be just a tad bit bigger. It doesn't have to be this big, but a 16 millimeter would probably work, an 18. So you're going to need a couple of bead caps. Now these are just filigree bead caps that were, I flattened them out just a little bit because we're going to be using them on this big bead right here. Okay. You're going to need uh, several jump rings. I've got my little jump rings here, and then I have this. Uh, this is a 12 millimeter bigger jump ring. I like to use these when I'm making a lobster clasp closure. I just think they're nice for clasping on. And then you're gonna need your jewelry tools. And that is everything. So um, go ahead if you want to make this necklace and pull all of your stuff out that you're going to need. And come on back and I will show you how we're going to do it. So, I'm just going to take my wire, and I'm just going to cut a little section, okay? So, here you have it, little section of your wire. Now, I'm going to take my chain nose pliers, and I'm going to bend this 90 degrees, just like that. And then, I'm going to decide what beads that I want to use. I'm going to go ahead and make my loop. So, I'm going to bend that 90 degrees. I'm going to take my round nose pliers and just, you don't need a huge loop for this. So, you know, I'm coming up that far right there on the plier. And I'm just going to bend up and over like that. And I rotate my plier up and I come under with my loop. So here's what I have. Okay, just like that. Now, um, I'm going to grab the loop here with my chain nose plier. And with my other chain nose plier, I like to use these bent nose pliers, I'm just going to wrap. And I'm making a neat little wrap. You don't have to. You can make it messy. Um, the colors that I'm using are kind of the boho style colors. So normally I would do a messy wrap, but I don't know. For some reason, I'm just in the mood for a neat wrap today. So that's what I've been doing. But you can make it as neat or as messy as you want to. And you can wrap as many times around as you want. You just do it to your little heart's content, however you want to make it. Okay, I go around a couple times, and then I'm going to cut this off. And then you just need to tuck it. So if there's any little piece sticking out, you want to tuck. Because we're going to make this to where it can be worn as a bracelet as well. And you don't want it to, you know, snag somebody. That wouldn't be good. So then, <clears throat> we're just going to take our 
uh, little beads. So I'm going to put on this blue one. And just, you know, it doesn't matter how you put them on. It's totally up to your own creative control. Just do whatever you want to do. Do this yellow. I like to mix the colors up pretty good and make it, you know, I like this boho style kind of look. And now I am mixing um, some of the metals in. You can mix them in if you want. And I'm just doing three or four or five beads. I probably haven't done more than five on on any one link here but so here's what we've got I'm gonna bend this 90 degrees again and then I'm gonna take my plier I'm gonna come up and over same thing and around and I'm just gonna go ahead and close up my loop now I'm gonna leave this open because I'm going to attach it onto my chain that I'm making so let me show you one more time how we do this so you take a little piece of wire and you know I did my wire pieces in different lengths I did some of them shorter some of them longer um, I did not make it all any certain uh, length so it's just however you want to do it I just wanted it to be kind of you know eclectic and organic so now I'm going to wrap here with my chain nose pliers Get a good hold on that. I didn't have a very good hold on it. And just going around a couple of times. These aren't the best, these bent nose pliers. They're actually better for holding the, <laughs> the piece that you're wrapping. And then I'm just going to trim this off. And tuck that little piece if there's anything sticking out. Okay, um, let's see what we'll do here. Let's do a red one. Let's do this red one, this brighter red. And maybe a blue, this green would be pretty. And we'll do this guy. Yeah, that looks good. And I just, you know, like I said, I'm not putting on any certain amount of beads. It's just whatever you wanna do. And I'm not making these any certain length. Um, I'm varying them. So there's my next one, and I'll close that up here in a minute. So go ahead and make these <laughs> as many, however long you want your necklace to be. So for me, um, I'm going to go ahead and make up a bunch, and then I will come back and tell you how long that I made it. But I want it to be really, really long because I want this to be able to wrap multiple times around your neck. Um, as a necklace. I want it to be like a multi-wrap um, necklace that you can, you know, have different levels, like a shorter level, a longer level. Um, so I, well here, I'll show you here in just a second. I've already actually made up quite a few of these links because I didn't want to sit and just do it on camera. It would have taken forever. So let me do this one and I'll show you what I mean. And we'll just see how long I've made mine already. I know I want it to be a little bit longer, but we'll see how long I've already done it for. And that'll give you a little bit better idea of what we're doing. And just close that little piece in there. And you can take your pliers if your wire kind of, you know, and smash it together like this if your coil kind of comes open a little where I'm done. Okay, let's see here. Let's use this one. Uh, how about this guy? He's pretty cool. I'm getting a lot of blues in here. Uh, let's see, this little orangey one would be good. I'm trying just to vary the colors. How about this yellow? You know, so I don't really like that. That looks too big. How about this yellow? Let's do a bronze and a yellow. So let's do this little bronze guy right here and then this yellow. That's cute. And I've got this little green. We'll put it on too. There we go. Okay, so let me pull this over here. And I'll show you what I'm doing. So here's my beaded chain. I think it's so pretty. I love all these colors together. Look at this. It's just gorgeous. But I want this to wrap multiple times around my neck. So what you want to do is put it on and try it out. 
but let me see how long this one is already. So I've got 12, 24, oops, 36, 60. I've got mine almost 72 inches long, so I'm going to add a few more lengths, but look at it. Isn't it so pretty? Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Okay, so here's how I add the lengths on. So let me find the end here. So these three little links. So I don't close up the other end. Um, and what I do, I go ahead and make my loop here. Up and over and under. So when I have it like this with my loop, I just take it and go ahead and attach it right on here. And then I'm just going to take my plier and just wrap. And this wire is very, um, you know, it bends really easy. So if you're piece is a little bit crooked, like your little link here looks a little bit crooked, just straighten them out and they'll be fine. Okay. I'm just going to tuck that. But you do want to make sure you get all these little snaggles. If you have any little snaggles here, you want them tucked in because you don't want this catching on clothes or skin <laughs> or anything else. I'm just trying to make sure I've got that one tucked in real well, and I don't. There we go. Okay, and same with this one. So I finished the other end. I'm just going to take this loop, and I haven't closed it. I've just made the loop and haven't wrapped it yet. So there it is. Grab right here with my flyer, and wrap around a couple of times. And you only have to wrap a couple of times. You don't have to, uh, you know, just enough to secure it around so it won't come loose. Trim it up. And tuck any little piece that might be sticking out there. Okay. And that is what I'm doing. And like I said, this one is nearly 72 inches. And I am going to put it on and see how many wraps I get out of it here in just a second. And we will check. I just want it to be multi. I want it to definitely wrap several times as a necklace. This is a great thing to do with your leftover beads. You can put pretty much any kind of bead. Now I haven't put anything too big in here. Um, I'd say like a 10 millimeter. Well, I may have a 12 millimeter in there, but they're few and far between. I've been trying to keep them. I don't want it to be too bulky. Little guy wants to spin on me and not tuck you. There we go. Okay, so let me hold this up to my own self. And what I do is I just put it on and I wrap it like at a, at a high level up close to my neck. Then I go a little bit lower. And it still needs about mm, probably a good six or eight inches at least okay so I'm gonna go ahead and do about I don't know six or eight more inches probably down to you know another good from here to here and you guys go ahead and make yours and come on back and I'll show you what we're gonna do next okay so I have got a little over seven feet and I don't know why I was trying to measure this in inches a few minutes ago that was silly but I've got a little over seven feet here and I'm gonna add my last two um, links on so I'm gonna show you how I do that because we're gonna need to put our lobster and our ring on as well so just you know get your piece of wire just like you've been doing the same thing we're going to bend it to 90 degrees. Go ahead and make our loop on this end. And come around like this. 
Now, what we want to do is we want to attach our lobster right onto here. Okay? And then we're going to wrap just like normal. And we're just wrapping the lobster right onto our wire. Okay, so just like this. All right, go ahead and cut it. And just make sure that you don't have any little snaggle sticking out. Okay, and then I'm going to put on my beads. So let's see here. I tried to make sure I didn't put the same colors together the whole time. I tried to really vary this. Um, so let's go ahead. This one's going to be up toward the top. Nobody's really going to see it anyway. It's going to, unless you wear your hair down, which some people do. So let's go ahead with that one. Let's go with this guy. And I just put on, um, you know, I just put on a bunch of different colors. I tried to vary it, like I said, and make it to where they were not all the same color together. Okay, we're going to do our 90 degree bend on the other end. And we're going to make our loop up and over and around. And we're just going to hook it right to our chain, just like we've been doing on that end. Okay. Take your pliers and hold and wrap. Okay, trim and tuck. And if you find that you have a hard time tucking this, it might be because you have too much wire still. Snip it off shorter and it gets a little easier to tuck. Okay, so there's our lobster clasp end. So let's take another piece of our wire. Same thing, 90 degree bend. Make your loop. And this time we're going to attach this ring right onto it. And this is a jump ring. I could open and close it, but I'd rather not. I'd rather keep it closed just because it came this way and that way I know that it's closed pretty good and I don't have to worry about my um, wire slipping out so I'd just rather keep it closed than try to open it and close it. It'd be better if you used a ring that wasn't you know open but I don't have any bigger ones right now that match this that aren't open. I'm going to trim this down right here. the coils together a little bit more. They kind of spread out. There we go. And just tuck that to make sure there's nothing that's going to poke anybody. Okay. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put my beads on this end. I'll go with him. How about an orange? And a green. Maybe a bronze one up here and red and like i said i did four or five on each each little link it does not matter it's just whatever you want to do come up and over and around and we're going to insert this one right on and then grab your loop and wrap now this is so long, you could actually make this to where you do not have a lobster closure. You don't have to have any closure. You could just hook your chain together if you wanted to. But I kind of wanted the lobster closure because I wanted to be able to double it as a bracelet if I wanted. And you couldn't really do that if you didn't have a closure. Okay, so now we've got our big long chain. Now, here's what we're going to do for... Um, for our little focal piece. And in order for this to work on this chain, okay, so when I put this chain on, I can put it on my body and I can, you know, make this come this small and then the next one bigger if I want and the next one bigger. And I can wrap this however I want to do it. Um, but depending on how you wrap it is how where the 
middle point of it is going to lay. Or say you wanted to put your little focal up on the top wrap or the third wrap down or the bottom wrap. So this is going to allow you to have a lot of freedom in how you want to, where you want to put this little focal. So let's make it first. So I've got my little bead here and my two little bead caps. Now let me see if I want to put any other bead. I don't think I do. I think I'm just going to do the bead caps and the bead and this other bead cap. Yeah, I think I'm just going to keep it simple. I like the way that looks. It's cute. There that is. All right, so I'm just going to take this, bend it 90 degrees, just like we've been doing. We're going to make a wrap loop, come up and over and around. I'm going to insert it right on my little flower connector, just like that. Take my plier and hold and wrap with my other plier. Let's see if I can get that in the... Yeah, I'm going to make sure I was wrapping the correct way. <laughs> and I do not have a hold of both pieces of wire. That's why it's spinning on me. So you have to get a hold of both pieces of wire right there in the bend where, you're, where they cross. There we go. And then I'll go ahead and wrap. It's a little fiddly because you got stuff in the way. But try to wrap down toward your bead. You don't want your bead to be flopping. You want the bead caps to be tight on there. And this is a head pin, so it's a little bit tougher to wrap than the little nice thin pieces of wire I had there. <laughs> or thinner pieces of wire. Okay, there we go. And just wrap down toward your bead caps so that they don't flop around. You don't want them flopping. around just a little more maybe maybe not yeah it just does not want to budge anymore so I'm gonna trim it off <laughs> it's done wrapping just gonna trim it up here and tuck. There we go. Okay, so there's our little flower and our bead. Now, um, I want to hook this onto the jump ring, but the jump ring is going to hang this way, or the uh, lobster is going to hang this way. So, you know, that would work if one of these were open loops. They're not. So I'm going to have to hook it with two little um, jump rings. So I'm going to do small jump rings. I don't like, you know, I don't want it to be really noticeably long. And these are like four millimeter. So I'm just going to take my jump ring Let's go ahead and hook this one on. Close it up. And then I'm going to hook it to my lobster. And the reason I had to use two jump rings is just to make this hang straight when the lobster is on it. Okay. So let's close that up really good. And there we have it. So now when the lobster's clipped, it'll hang straight. So now when you put this on... You can put it on and wrap it around as many times as you want. Now, I'm going to wrap it around my wrist here. Let me show you what it would do. It's a huge wrap bracelet, but it's pretty. It's got so many beautiful colors, but it does make a mega, mega wrap bracelet. Which, you know, I like. A lot of people are more minimal, but I think this is absolutely gorgeous. Look how many times it wraps. It's huge. And then you would just clasp it here. And then you've got this huge wrap bracelet. And you could use this on it if you wanted to. For the bracelet, I might not. But if you wanted to, you could clip it right here on top. Um, as a necklace. Let me switch my camera around and I'll show you how we would do it as a necklace. Hold on. Okay, so here's this necklace on. 
and like I said, you could wrap it as many times as you wanted, really. Um, I could have done a higher wrap up here and a couple more down here. You could hang this focal from any of these that you wanted to, but here's what it looks like. I love the colors. I think it's so, so happy and pretty and boho and just showcases so many beautiful Jesse James beads. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like it, subscribe to my channel, and I'll have links for all the products or most of the products. Like I said, this comes from just a bunch of different bead mixes. So any of your Jesse James beads, you're going to have, you know, you can just pick out the colors that you want. So um, yeah, really fun necklace to make and very versatile. <laughs> Go with just about anything. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.